yeah, if you line up like 10 people here, you know, and, and ask for a definition of what art is, you're gonna probably get 10 different definitions. A show that marries art with fashion. But is it really art? Or is it just another fashion fad? And what's more, this art is washable. So, it's probably definable, you know, but um, I just know that I'm dealing with art on an everyday basis and the stuff that, that, that I create, it's, it's, I consider it art, uh, but uh, if you ask me, just give me definition and to be honest, I'm like, fuck definitions, you know, let's just, let's just stop analyzing Every, everything, or trying to put everything in words and definitions and labels. You know? I mean, to be honest, I'm like so bored with that kind of stuff. You know? like, art is there in the street. Go out and see. <laughs> You'll see your definition. You know what? Probably to most of questions, or like, I, I'm more and more like that, you know, like the more you ask, the more I'll be like, you know what? Just experience what I do on stage read the lyrics just make up your mind just I, because I don't know you know the McDonald's culture here and stuff you know I, 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 I mock that officially and I have no respect to that whatsoever but uh, that is uh, that is one thing that you see in the street it's like the first thing you see in the street is a big fucking is oh it's it's I mean it's this plastic culture but there is a deeper meaning there, you know, and there's people who are super creative, who, who, who actually go very much against that current, you know what I mean? Then there's a lot of rebels in America, you know? And uh, I'll, I dare to say that heavy metal is part of, of this tendency or a trend, or I don't know how to call it, but it actually encourages people to, to rebel against uh, the plastic culture. So there's a huge space, you know, to be fulfilled with some something very creative and something some some intelligent substance, you know what I mean? Maybe art, but maybe some other stuff. I don't know. I'm trying to put my. I'm trying to again, you know, we come back to this defini what's definition to define my artistic spirit. Fucking damn it, you know what I mean? I, was like, I, just, I, I don't even know how to buy it, it, you know, from which side, you know, how to put it all together. I just don't know it, you know. But I know how to do it. I mean, like, to how to express it, you know, without words, just on a carnal and spiritual level, you know, without using words, because I just feel very limited by, by this, you know what I mean? So I'm pretty much becoming more and more like him, you know, it's like, this is it, just. It's, here's my piece, here's my record, you know, here's my show. Just enjoy it as much as you can, and if you, if you don't, you know, I don't care, you know, but this is it. <laughs> he once said that, uh, someone said that the, the, the most perfect copy of Mona Lisa is, is, is not as perfect as, you know, a child's, you know, crippled, you know, drawing, you know, and there's more art. Um, and more creativity in this primitive drawing of a you know a toddler than in a perfect copy of a Mona Lisa painting and I somehow I like that you know what I mean I heard it like a few years ago but, Somehow I got to this point where life is not, to me, life is not about what was in the past and what's coming tomorrow. It's about what's happening today. So this here and now philosophy I brought to the stage and where I perform, when I'm in the studio, where I'm whatever, you know what I mean? Dealing with art. And uh, this is it. That's, that's, the, this is crucial to me when it comes to, to you know, to what behemoth means to me. I'm on stage and I'm into the music. I'm there. <laughs>